Oliver Pruitt here again. Inventor, educator, dreamer, podcast sponsor. You know what I find remarkable? It wasn't so long ago that if I wanted to talk to you like this, I'd have to hop aboard a horse, cross mountains and deserts. But today, I can talk to you during a podcast. Who knows what the future will bring? I built my school, Pruitt Prep, differently than any other school that ever came before it. The grounds on Gale Island were constructed to study climate extremes during global warming. The best trained staff in the world, together with the most exceptional students, have made the most incredible advances in botany, engineering, and earth sciences. The technology we've created... Uh, well, I can't talk about that. You'll just have to attend and see for yourself. Because the future is not something that just happens. It's something we make together. We're through it. Together, we can do anything. To the stars. You never make things easy, do you, Aurora? What's wrong with texting, Hey Mars, thanks for the messages. I'm doing great. See you soon. Instead, you write, Ad Astra. That's it. Ad Astra. Well, I'm going to need a little help with that one. Yes, that means going back to school... JP's getting toothpick. I'm going for caddy. What period is it? Oh, great. She's in choir. Psst, psst. Caddy, Mars? At your feet, under the bleachers. You're supposed to be suspended. You can't be in school. But I have something unbelievable. You're unbelievable. We're already in team. If you just let me explain. Shh, shh. This is my part. And Mars, you need to go. Mars, go home. Mars Patel? Oh, jeez. Now Epica spotted you. Is that perv trying to look at my skirt? You're wearing jeans, Epica. Caddy, just listen. Aurora texted me. She wrote, add Astra. Any idea what that means? No, I I have no idea. Sounds like Greek to me. Actually, it's Latin. You know Latin? I know lots of things. So what does that mean? It means I'm smarter than you. Bye-bye. Should have seen that one coming. We're supposed to meet JP and Pick in the janitor's closet. We can figure this out. We always do. I'm sorry. My parents, since the arrest, it's total lockdown. They were just looking for a reason to send me to boarding school. They think I need... correction. What does that mean? They hate my friends, they hate my hair, and the way I dress. They hate you, Mars. They said I can't be around you anymore. They think you get me in trouble all the time. I do get you in trouble all the time. It's kind of our thing. I'm all over the place and you balance me out. Maybe I can't do that anymore. It's too hard. Maybe I just want to be normal. You'll never be normal. That's what I love about you. I just mean, you know when trouble is coming. Like, now? Like any time, really. No, Mars, you're in trouble right now. Who is that under there? Uh Uh-oh. What on earth are you? Oh, no, 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 no. You stay right there. Mars. Mr. Q, I didn't see you. Mars, it's my understanding that you've been suspended. I know. I'm not supposed to be here. I got a message from Aurora. Is she okay? I don't know. I have to go. They're waiting for me. Please don't tell Principal Fagan you saw me. Mars, you know I always want what's best for you. Please, Mr. Q. I'm counting on you. Aurora and Jonas are depending on us. Go. Sorry I'm late. I almost got busted by Mr. Q in the hallway. Anybody see you guys coming here? What are we, amateurs? You know, we really need to find a better office than the janitor's closet, though. I like the smell of bleach. It makes my head fussy. Listen, Pick, about what I said before. Give me your phone, Mars. I want to read the text. Where's Caddy? She couldn't make it. She said no, didn't she? Her parents dropped the hammer on her. I tried, but she just couldn't do it. Then forget it. I'm not doing this without her. It's going to be a disaster. 
When you're a mess, Caddy balances you out. Yeah, and I said that to her. But I don't know this time. She seemed... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What are you doing, Pick? It's called dabbing. So you take your arm, you put it over your face. It's a celebration dance. Because I figured it out and nobody else did. Type Ad Astra on your phone. Look at the autocorrect. Ab Masters. Jonas has text from the other night. I didn't have to do those crunches. Jonas and Aurora were both trying to text us Ad Astra. But we still don't know what Ad Astra means. To the stars. Patty. Ad Astra's Latin for to the stars. That was a very dramatic entrance. I thought so. Wait, you know Latin? Nope, but I know that Epica would do anything to have my choir solo. Wow. To the stars? That's a slogan for Pruitt Prep. Oliver Pruitt School? Could that be where Aurora and Jonas are? Inside Pruitt Prep? Oliver Pruitt takes only the best and the brightest for his technical wonder on Gale Island. Exactly. None of us would ever get in there. What's the opposite of the best and the brightest? Wouldn't you have to pack up? Say goodbye? See you around Mars, go and hang with the special people. Mars, you said Jonas's mom seemed weirdly happy, right? She kept saying everything was wonderful. We have to get in there. To apply to Pruitt Prep, you must first submit an application and your gift test scores. I mean now. We need to get into that school now. You do realize it's on an island, right? And the thing about islands, they're surrounded by water. Lots of water. There's a ferry. I watched a video online of some guy giving a tour. How do we get there? We ride our bikes. That far? It's mostly downhill. Oh, jeez. Can you guys make it out past your parents at like 9.45? My bedtime is 9.30. I'll be in my pajamas. Can you pull up a map of the island? Not my phone. My parents install a tracking app. Then you're going to have to go analog on this toothpick. A real paper map. Caddy, you're being real quiet over there. Are you coming with? Because without you, this bad plan, it just becomes even worse. It's okay. We understand if you can. Of course I'm coming, dummy. What about your... My parents? <laughs> they always wanted me to go to Pruitt Prep. Hi, kids. Do you get bored at school? Do you feel like you're not being challenged? Like you don't fit in or your teachers don't understand you? At Pruitt Prep, we understand the extraordinary kid. We're looking for students who think differently, who dream big. If you think you have what it takes to join us, visit our website at pruittprep.com and take the test. But be warned, not everyone will make it. To the stars. Aurora. Ah! Almost dropped my phone. Hard to do this and bike at the same time. Have they ever heard of streetlights out here? I think they called this going rogue. We're not even supposed to be talking to each other. And here we are, riding like crazy in the middle of the night, miles from home, from his toothpick and his Star Wars pajamas. Everyone stop! Water! We're here? There it is, Gale Island, straight ahead. See lights out there? Mmm, no. Me neither, but Pruitt Prep is right there. That's what the map says. That's not weird. Is that the ferry we're supposed to take? Is it even running? Looks pretty, you know, tied up to the dock. The website made it sound like it sails all night. So what do we do, swim? Hmm, yeah, it seems like a pretty good night to drown. It's a new moon tonight. Conditions are ideal for drowning. Mars, whose boat is that? Come on, we're just borrowing it. Said every thief ever. Come on! JP, are you joining us? That's not a boat. That's a rotting pile of driftwood. It's floating? For how long? Let me make this clear. I don't like cold, dark water. I don't like waves. I don't like what swims underneath. I've gone along with a lot, but I'm not getting in that boat. I don't care what you say. I... Stay dry. I'm not dry. Why do I feel like I'm the only one wrong for the past hour? I can't see the shore yet. Are you even close? Sit down, Pick. You're going to flip the boat. I'm trying to get a look at... Oh, my God. Get off me. Just sit, Toothpick. I'll keep watch.
You know what I was thinking about, Aurora? Your favorite movie. Your real favorite movie. Less recording, more rowing. I'm just trying to make the time go faster. I'm trying to make the boat go faster. <sighs> well, technically, we're going slow. How about you take a break from talking for a while? What? The current's getting stronger. JP, your hands are bleeding. Thanks. Helpful as always, toothpick. I can help row more. Whoa, whoa. Sit down. Sit down. So, what is Aurora's favorite movie? I don't think I want to say. Why not? Too personal? No, I just don't think... Mars, you know you can tell me anything. Oh my god, just say it already. Her favorite movie is the Titanic. Oh... You should have kept that to yourself. I tried. You think you want to talk about sinking boats while we're in the pitch black in the middle of the ocean? The sound. <clears throat> Whatever. It's a lot of water and it's cold. Keep rowing. Relax, JP. Then we wouldn't be going anywhere. I rowed for 20 minutes straight. No, you rowed for five. Talk to Aurora for 15. I'm just trying to keep a record. I'm trying not to capsize and drown. Between my blisters and toothpick's toothpick arms, we can't afford to be a man down. You really shouldn't talk to me like that when I'm the only one who knows where we're going. Got it, Ronabora. I have so many questions. How did you get into Peru Prep? Have you met Oliver Pruitt? Mars, you're going to have a mutiny on your hands. I'm going to throw the phone in the ocean. Sound. Correct me one more time and see what happens. So next time, don't volunteer. Yeah, and next time, maybe you'll go missing. Stop it. All of you, stop it. I know you're cold and wet and scared. And that's not because I'm in your heads, it's because I'm scared too. You think it's fun being on this boat, JP? Listening to you complain? Or Mars, you going on and on about Aurora? Or Toothpick, you almost flipping us over every five minutes? But that's no reason for us to attack each other. It makes me sick. We're all we've got. How do you not realize that after Aurora and Jonas disappeared? It can happen so fast. Maybe whoever is taking our friends is going to come for us next, so we need to stay together. We need each other, even more than usual. If everyone is not on board with that, then we should just turn around now and go home. Caddy, I'm sorry. Save it. We're here. Is it 10 degrees colder on the island? My pocket thermometer says 22.5 degrees colder. Uh, how is that possible? The sand on this beach is weird. It's like seven on a bunch of chalk. So how do we get to the school from here? The map says you go right into these trees and keep going straight. The scale isn't right, so it's hard to tell how long it'll take. But we can't miss it. It's in a clearing in the middle of the island. It's all right there. The science towers and the botany lab and the cafeteria with the living roof, and the virtual reality auditorium. Stay close. You've got the map and the flashlight. Watch where you're going. There's a lot of branches on the... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Relax. I've got you. Thanks. Always. Thanks for the speech back there and for coming in the first place. Yeah, well, I had to make that speech. Everything is... Oh, are you okay? Is it your head? Hey guys, I hate to buzzkill, but where's Pick? He's right in front of us. Yeah, and I looked up and he was just gone. Caddy? The woods. Ow, so, something's not right. Pick! Pick? Pick! Toothpick, where are you? Toothpick! Pick! What kind of trees are these? They're huge, you can't even see the moon through them. They don't look like anything I've ever seen before. Toothpick! We can stop if your head hurts too much. We ain't stopping. Not in here. No. We, we keep going. We have to. What if Toothpick... What if he's gone too? Don't do that. You're better than that, Mars. You're right. We're going to find them. Right. Shouldn't we be able to see this place by now? The trees are blocking everything. I can barely see my feet. I hope Pig isn't lost. I hope we're not lost. Toothpick! Did you hear that? It's my stomach. It sounded like a coyote. Coyotes don't want to attack humans. They don't want to attack humans, or they don't attack humans. 
Can we pick up the pace? Like, run? Whoa, whoa, yes! Ah! Keep running. Don't stop till you hit the clearing. I see something. I think we're almost out. Go, go, go! We're out. We're out. Toothpick! Mars. Toothpick, you're here! Mars, where were you? Where were we? Where were you? We thought you disappeared. I don't understand. It's on the map. It's in the picture online. I watched a video. This is supposed to be it. It's supposed to be what, Pick? The school. Pro prep. The towers, the laboratory, the farm, the auditorium. But it's, it's just an empty field. There's nothing here. Um, guys, where'd it go? Ooh, that left me with the chills. Perhaps I need a cardigan. Kids, if you're enjoying the show and you'd like to hear what happens next, subscribe to The Unexplainable Disappearance of Mars Patel on iTunes. And be sure to leave a comment like swashbuckling or rumbus juice or what a rollicking good time. I can't get enough of that mysterious chap, Oliver Pruitt. He's great, isn't he, kids? Or feel free to improvise your own comment and visit the website pruittprep.com. Well, until next time, to the stars.